EU and the US. Now, talking alongside Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz took on the United States and told them, don't treat EU worse than Mexico and Canada over subsidies. Both the leaders, Meloni and Scholz, agreed that they do not want to get into a global subsidy race. I think we all agree that we don't want to get into a global subsidy race. That would be terrible. Not that many could keep up there. Some countries might, but that would not be the goal of things. That is why we all are very much in favor, for example, of reaching an understanding with the US on the Inflation Reduction Act, so that European countries are not put at a competitive disadvantage by local content regulation. This comes after various European countries criticized U.S. over the Inflation Reduction Act, a bill that allocates $369 billion for energy security and climate change. The bill primarily offers huge subsidies and tax credits to companies investing in renewable energy technologies, but with a condition that the products and parts be manufactured in the United States. This includes products such as batteries, solar panels and wind turbines. But European nations fear the U.S. green subsidies will create an unfair competition and encourage their industries to relocate to the U.S. Earlier this week, European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen presented a proposal to try to ensure Europe can compete with the United States as a manufacturing hub for net zero industries and reduce its dependence on China. We have since long argued that the fight against climate change is a must, a must for our planet, a must for our economic prosperity, and a must for our strategic independence. We are competitive. We need competition. What we are looking at is that we have a level playing field in the global competition as well as a level playing field within the single market. This is for us so important. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz responded to the plan. He called it a step in the right direction. For me, the debate on the Inflation Reduction Act is also an incentive for us Europeans to keep reviewing how we can further improve the conditions for investment here at home. EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen has made important proposals in this regard, all of which go in the right direction. At the joint statement in Berlin, Italian Prime Minister Meloni said that it was very important to find a European answer to strengthen the competitiveness of European companies. Of course, it is also very important for us to find a European answer very quickly in order to strengthen the competitiveness of our companies. We have seen that the United States, for example, are in the process of combating this situation by investing a lot in its companies. And Europe now has to ask itself what it can do to make its companies competitive as well. The meet between Meloni and Scholz comes before EU members meet for a summit next week, where leaders are expected to discuss plans to boost state aid and other moves to allow Europe to compete as a hub for electric vehicles and other green products.